Hey everybody, so in today's video I got to talk about the property decorator in Python. The property decorator allows us to define a method as a property. We can access it like it's an attribute. One of the benefits is that when reading, writing, or deleting attributes, we can add additional logic. The property decorator gives us a getter method to read, a setter method to write, and a deleter method to delete when working with attributes. In this example, we'll create a class of rectangle. We need a constructor. Let's define that. When constructing a rectangle object, we will need a width and a height. We will assign the attribute of width equal to the width that we receive when constructing this object. Self dot height equals height. Let's construct a rectangle object. Rectangle equals rectangle. We need to pass in a width and a height. Then I will print my rectangle's width, rectangle.width, and the height, rectangle.height. With my rectangle, the width is 3, the height is 4. Using the property decorator, when reading these attributes of width or height, I can write some additional logic. Let's say that when accessing the width or the height, I would like to display one digit after the decimal, then add centimeters. Here's one way in which I can do that. For each of these attributes, I'm going to create a method. We will define a method of width, no parameters besides self. For now, I'll write pass and define height. Preceding each of these methods, I will use the property decorator. So at property. Now, when accessing the width or the height, will be returned with whatever's within these methods of width and height. But there's one change we're going to make to these attributes. We'll set these attributes to be private. Prefix each of these attributes with an underscore. This tells you and other developers that these attributes, they're meant to be protected. They're internal. We shouldn't access the width or the height directly outside of this class. Technically, we could. I will access the internal version of width and height. We get three and four, but we do have a warning. Access to a protected member width of a class. That applies to height as well. Our width and our height are only meant to be used inside of this class. If we need to get the width and the height, we will do so through these getter methods provided by the property decorator. So when accessing the width, let's return an F string. I will access self dot private width Add a format specifier to display one digit after the decimal, 0.1f, followed by centimeters. We'll do this with the height as well. We will return self.privateHeight. So now when we access the width or the height, we will do so using these getter methods. If I access these private width and height attributes instead, Again, they will be three and four. It's kind of like they're raw. These attributes are meant to be used internally inside of the class. So that's the point of a getter method. We can add additional logic when reading one of these attributes when we try to get them. We can also add setter methods if we would like to set or write these attributes. Here's how. Let's take our width. We will create a decorator of at width.setter. When attempting to set the width, we will do so using this method. We will define our method name of width. We will have one parameter, a new width. We don't want the parameter name to be the same as the method name. That's why we're naming it something different. When setting the width, let's check to see if the new width is greater than zero. If so, we will take self.privateWidth equals our new width. Else, let's print something. Let's print width must be greater than zero. And let's do this with the height. Height dot setter define height. Pass in a new height. If our new height is greater than zero, assign self.private height 
equals the new height. Else print height must be greater than zero. Before printing the width and the height, let's take our rectangles width, set it to be zero, then see what happens. Well, we get that message. Width must be greater than zero. If I were to set width to be five, well, that does work. Our width is now five. Let's change the height. Rectangle dot height. I will set this to be negative one. Height must be greater than zero and the height hasn't changed. What about six? Six does work. When using these setter methods, we can add additional logic when writing or changing one of these attributes. These are setter methods. Now, if you need to delete an attribute, here's how. There is a delete keyword. We will delete our rectangle's width and delete our rectangle's height. In this series, we really won't be using the delete keyword, but you should still know that it exists. So we will create a deleter method at take one of the attributes, in this example width, we will create a deleter method. The method name will be width, the name of the attribute. There will be no parameters besides self. We will delete self dot private width. Then let's print something just to confirm that this was deleted. Width has been deleted. Same thing applies to height. Take the attribute of height, define height, delete private height. Height has been deleted. When deleting our width or our height, we get that confirmation message. Width has been deleted and height has been deleted. All right, everybody, so that is the property decorator. We can define a method as a property, meaning it can be accessed as if it was an attribute. One of the benefits is that we can add additional logic when we read, write, or delete attributes. The property decorator gives us a getter, setter, and deleter method. Getter methods to read, setter methods to write, and deleter methods to delete. And well, everybody, that is the property decorator in Python.